Hi, Julie here, your Skype coach with another Skype question. This is about Skype calls. And the question is, is there a way to block incoming calls until you want to accept one? So let me show you where you control your Skype calls. In your Skype, you want to find the menus, Tools, then Options, then Calls. Once you've opened the Calls section, you on, you'll be in your Call Settings, and you can choose to allow calls from either anyone or from people in your contact, contact list only. This is about allowing calls if you have purchased an online number with Skype, so I don't think that applies. You can also make sure that this is not checked. Answer incoming calls automatically. Okay. If you do not want incoming Skype calls to answer automatically, and most people don't, then you uncheck that. If you do have it checked, then you can also choose to start your video automatically when you're in a call. So it would automatically be a video call. It doesn't have to be a video call. If you don't have it answering automatically, then you don't have to worry about the video call and it won't answer automatically. <laughs> okay, so what else can I suggest? I can suggest that you um, possibly have purchased a voicemail service from Skype and you set up uh, calls that you don't answer, send calls to voicemail if I do not answer within, you set the number of seconds. Um, you can choose to this or not to reject incoming calls, uh, to, an to go to voicemails to any calls you reject or decline, and also you can check uh, for it to go to voicemail if you're already in a call. So that is a purchased service, voicemail service. And um, the only other thing that you can do is when your, if your contacts are calling you or someone who you want to call you or, or you have allowed here in the settings to call you is calling you and you don't want to answer, you can decline the call. Let me try to demonstrate that. You know, I'm setting up to receive a call and I realize that I'm on the status, which you can change up here next to your name. Um, I'm on status invisible. <laughs> um, do not disturb and invisible will not ring or pop up calls unless you have the chat with that person open. So that's another way to avoid calls is you can be on invisible mode, status actually or do not disturb status. Um, so I want to receive a call, so I'm going to either go online or away. I'll go, I'll stay away. I'll go on away so people don't start calling me. Um, but I'm going to, uh, I'm in another Skype account of mine. I'm going to call myself. So here we go. Um, let's see, where am I? And you know how to find people, right? Alright, so there I am. I'm going to call myself and I'll demonstrate declining a call. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> if you want to decline a call, you just use the decline button. Okay, and you can see you have a choice to answer with video here also. So we're declining. Some versions of Skype will allow you to open up uh, will allow you to open up, uh, let me do that again. Okay, so you can decline the call, you can forward transfer this call to somebody else. We're going to decline it, okay, and you can see my voicemail. Hi, it's Julie, please leave me a message. There it is, and it's recording my voicemail because I declined the call. That's only the, the paid service. But let's demonstrate that one more time. Sometimes you, sh you can, besides
besides declining the call, you might want to actually right click on the person, go to I am, which will open up the I am box. I'm going to decline the call anyway, and write, I can't take calls now. Hi, it's Julie. Please leave me a message. Please write a text message. This is my demo I'm telling myself. Anyways, you can do that. Um, this is actually, okay, so that's declining the call. And leaving, that's another thing you can do is tell them, please, you know, write me a message, write me an IM. I am me, please, no calls right now, or no calls ever. <laughs> Okay, so you can do that. All right, um, trying to think if there's anything else I can share with you. We'll go back to tools, options, bring the box up so you can see it. Again, that's in the options box. You've got calls, and it should open on call settings. And you can choose the more restrictive one, which is contacts only. Um, and make sure this is unchecked. That's basically my overview summary of what I went over. Um, you can change your status. There's different places to change your status. You might want to choose do not disturb or invisible and then calls don't pop up or ring. And of course you can also have all uh, all sounds. Let's see be muted. You can mute all sounds, but I'm not sure that mutes calls. <laughs> so uh, that's it. I hope that helps you to manage your incoming Skype calls that you uh, do not want to take. Mainly you need to train your contacts to not call you without an appointment, I would say. <laughs> well, that's it for now. Julie out. See you on Skype.